So after the last video where Bayern Munich sacked me, I felt embarrassing. And now I'm gonna prove you're wrong and Bayern wrong because I am gonna be the club owner of Manchester United Football Club and firstly we and Ten Hag had a little bit of talk and this is what he said Hey, I know we are in the mud but we are gonna survive relegation this season and I responded Ten, we need to make it in top 4 or else I'm gonna sack you but he said no, that is impossible, so I decided to sack Eric Ten Hag and we are on a search for a new manager. So firstly, I asked Pep Guardiola and uh, he laughed at me. He said, I don't want to coach this finished football club. Hey, oh Pep, so who could we find? I found a really good manager in Postacoglu, the Spurs manager and Spurs are kind of in the mud as well and he responded after a couple of days thinking he responded I will happily manage Manchester United but only if we make a couple of signings and I responded okay let's go hey you yes you there if you enjoyed the video please hit the like and the subscribe button because it does help out a lot now let's get on with the video so here he is Postacoglu officially at a Manchester United coach uh, hopefully he will be bring the glory back to this club and let's make a couple of signings but firstly uh, I don't know what Postacoglu wants to play it looks like he wants to play wing ball with this Manchester United squad so these are the coaches, 5 star at every single one. Uh, let's see what I have set for objectives. So, uh, I want Postacoglu to sign 3 players younger than 20 age that has a higher potential than the player that plays in that position right now. And within 2 seasons, uh, 2 youth talents need to play. Then get 10 seasons without defeat in, in away matches. So that is important, winning away matches, that's for sure. Within two seasons, I want, to si I want Alex Ferguson to sign two 82 plus overall players. Then uh, I want to reach the semi-final of the Champions League. And I want him to have a UEFA Champions League finish, win the Emirates FA Cup and win the Premier League title within two seasons. Then finish the season with 255 million profit. And this is the team. Now I really don't understand why United is at a fifth or sixth uh, place in the Premier League because they have everything. They have the talent Erasmus Hoyland, Kobe Mainu, Garnacho. They have the experience at Varane, Bruno Fernandes, also Rashford as well. Um, they have they have the players who are really solid and in huge growth within Dallo and Onana. And they have a couple of players which we need to replace in McTominay, Lindelof, Harry Maguire maybe as well. Also we have Martinez, so we don't need to sign another center back at Manchester United because Varane and Martinez will do the job for me. What we really, really need is a CDM, a left back, I think a right winger because I want to play Garnacho right here. So I really want to play Garnacho there. Then Rashford, I think it'd be a solid backup option. And then we need to replace Lindelof, McTominay and Rashford. But let's see how much funds we have got or Posta Google has got and it's 207 million so what I'm first so what Posta Google is firstly gonna do is search up for some players so I have searched up for a couple of players and I and I and Posta Google sent his scouts to the players I have scouted but Manchester United have also a really good youth academy so we could get some really good players out of it like this guy Ali 
I mean, it's only 15, so we can't sign him up. Then there's this guy. Oh my god. 66 rated. Cardozo. No, I'm gonna promote him to the senior team. That guy looks insane. We have also got this this guy here, Quagli. So for Manchester United, there are some really good players that uh, that we could get from the youth academy. That we could grow like Kobe Mainu and stuff. And now I'm gonna put some players to the transfer list. So we have got the scout for Matson, 30 million, and he's a 21 year old. I think we have got to do this. Yeah, let's go for Matson. He's a really good center back option. And why not? No. Oh wait. We can't sign him because he's on loan. Oh no. Then it has got to be Balde, which is 45 million. Yikes. Let's go in for Alejandro Balde. Uh, because we haven't got any options, I wanted to sign Matson, but we can't because he's at loan on Dortmund, I think. And we will start at a 55 mil, because why not? He's market value, and they have agreed as well. What an easy negotiations, maybe I overpaid, maybe not. And now we will get into the wages. And stuff. I hope they say what wages they want. So with 15 appearances, that's 670 thousand dollars. With or sorry, not dollars, uh, sterlings. Then the signing bonus is 420 thousand, and his wages are uh, 43.5k. Uh, and we will accept it. Alejandro Balde is at Manchester United. I didn't want to go in with like the big biggest signings Vinicius, Bellingham and stuff I want to rotate this team and I want to get back to the Manchester United winning winning form but Alejandro Balde welcome to the club so the next player is for sure Paul Kubarsi uh, if you have seen him in real life <laughs> I'm absolutely crazy He's a young talent from Barcelona Academy, 16-year-old centre-back. But he's just absolutely insane. And that's why I am going in with 2.4 million dollars. And they have accepted it. Paul Kubarsi is at Barcelona, at Manchester United Football Club. Let's look at our squad right now. So Posta Koglu is happy with his left-back spots right now because it's Paul Day. Postacuglu is happy with his bench because we have got this Brazilian guy who is absolutely crazy and then we have got Pau Kubarsi for a backup center back option and then this is what the team looks like so we still need a replacement for McTominay for Rashford but apart from that this team is crazy so the next player we will have to sit down with Posta Koglu and Tol because there is Pablo Barrios and Eduardo Camavinga and Eduardo Camavinga is way better but but this Barrios guy is way much is way cheaper so this is what we came up with hey Posta Koglu I just wanted to let you know that we have a couple options for a center mid spot Pablo Barrios and Eduardo Camavinga yeah I think we will have to sign Eduardo Camavinga because of the talent he has and because of how versatile he is. So yes, Posta Koglu wants to go in for Camavinga because of his versatility and because of his talent. So let's put in an offer of like 70 mil, seems pretty good to me. And day 171, I'm accepting it straight up. And now we will have to go into the, to the negotiations, which is more tricky, I think. So every 10 goals, he has a million bucks, but he's not gonna score 10 goals. Signing bonus is 760,000, and his wage is 82. Now, I think this is really solid. For a player of the quality of Eduardo Camavinga, this is really, really good. 
Eduardo Camavinga Camavinga Yeah, come on, come on Camavinga is at the club Postakulu meets Camavinga right now He looks busy And he is as well Let's, let's be real, he is busy But Eduardo Camavinga, the absolute beast from Real Madrid Put that United shirt on himself what a time to be alive. So the boss says, for right now, these are the signings, not for this season, because we are gonna play a couple of games with this, and then maybe next episode we will decide who else to sign. But for that reason, Marcus Rashford needs to play right now. And yeah, I'm really excited for this team. I'm gonna set up the trainings because I want these players to grow really good in the first season itself but the club clear out begun we saw players like Anthony, Lindelof, McTominay every single player left the club who wasn't important for us Luke Shaw, Casemiro, everyone but then a huge huge offer came Bruno Fernandes sells for 88 mil Oh my god Maybe we will have to sell him next season because Bruno Fernandes is like I think he's not that good Just for, uh, for Manchester United He has been the club captain but what a bad captain he has been And I'm like I'm criticizing him But I don't just hate him because of for any reason he has just been a bad. Uh, <clears throat> he has just been a bad captain for Manchester United Football Club. Kobe Mainu. Who wants Kobe Mainu? Like he's our player now. This is what the squad is looking like at the time. And uh, let's begin our Premier League journey. Here are the boys. I think this is yeah. This is Marcus Rashford training our first game is about to kick off let's go united bruno fernandez has got the pink pass plus playstyle when did he get that oh we are already giving the ball away but kamavinga kamavinga again cross and diogo dalo with a block oh no diogo dalo again and but we might can see that no no he's there oh rasmus rasmus hoyland no rasmus Need to be better, need to be a better touch there. Oh no, this might be bad. This might be bad. Mateus Cunha, Cunha again, still Cunha. Pass inside, they are, they are through. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, they scored. Unfortunately, our defense is just in the mud right now. Oh no, from bad to worse, from bad to worse. Oh no, 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 it's rebound. Mar Varan. What a block from Varan to keep us in this game. Rasmus, Rasmus is through. Rasmus, Rasmus Hoyland, come on. Rasmus, let's go. Music licensing. We are back in this game. Oh no, this might be bad. This might be bad. This might be really, really bad. Please don't concede here. No, Kamavinga can't get there. Kamavinga can't get there, and it's shot. And it's really bad. And it's a really bad shot. Oh, what a pass from Kamavinga. Now Rasmus, back to Bruno, no! Oh yes, Varan, just using his strength there and it's a tactical foul. Kobe Mainu, well in. Kobe Mainu has been insane. Marcus, talk to me. Marcus is just not on that level that we need him to be. That is why Jeremy Doku would be just absolutely crazy. He has the speed, he has the skills, and like Rashford doesn't have those quite areas of the game. Especially this season, he has been really bad. Oh, they are on the breakaway. Oh no, this could be bad. And Onano with a save. Oh yeah, they are playing a five back. Boring. That's why it's so impossible to break through. Kamavinga with a good a uh, good interception and then Bruno Fernandes has a chance to put us through and he does! Artlist, Bruno uh, Fernandes! Let's go! Kamavinga, just cool as an ice cream. And now, 
Garnacho, you have the pace. You have the pace. Then the skills. Yeah, I'm gonna take the foul because Garnacho couldn't pass anywhere there. Let's see if we can find somebody in that box. Kobe Meno hits it. Oh my god, what a save. Kamavinga taking one from distance and it's blocked. Let's see from a set piece, maybe. Rafael Varane waits in the middle and heads it in. What a save! We are really putting on the pressure. Postacoglu is cooking something up here. Oh my god, I thought. Kamavinga. Kamavinga still crosses it in and it's a block. Still Kamavinga though. A passing option there to Bruno Fernandes. Back to Rashford. Rashford will finish shot. And it's blocked again. Let's see if we can convert this right now. Rafael Varane waits in the middle and it goes in. Rafael Varane with an important goal. That's why the boss put him into the starting 11. First game, first win. Rasmus Holland strikes one again. And what a win for the boys. I really do feel like though, we need another like... An, a right winger because Marcus Rashford is obviously like <clears throat> oh my god <coughs> this guy is 15 years of age 58 to 78 overall and like 94 potential a 1.4 million of worth but yeah Marcus Rashford is not on that level yet uh, not yet because he's almost done with his career but I really do feel like we need to sign Jeremy Toku so the boss said we will give Rashford another chance uh, and maybe not sign him sign Jeremy Toku till the January transfer window and if we are playing football like we did in the other game I think he's right but uh, <clears throat> The boss right now said that we need to play Cardoso because Rashford is not on the stamina levels. Uh, so Cardoso, the young talent from Brazil, is going to play for us. Uh, he's a really promising talent, I think. 66 rated with a potential of 94. And let's develop him. So Son is the danger man right here, right now. Hope we don't get cooked because of him but uh, again let's go United we need to win here first touches are good Bruno Fernandes is on the breakaway Bruno Fernandes to take the lead against Tottenham Hotspurs and he takes it Bruno Fernandes what a player Bruno Fernandes oh no Cardoso you can't lose the ball there because we might concede out of this and you might actually do we might actually do. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't concede. Oh, we concede. James Madison to break our hearts. Oh, no, Madison again. Madison again to take the lead. Emotional, damn it. We have shambled this. No way. Kobe Mano with a with an important pass to Garnacho. Garnacho Bruh. shoots and he misses. No way. Garnacho, you need to convert these chances. I am right now really not convinced that Rasmus Hoyland is the guy for us. Uh, he's moving like a track and like he's not good at all. And the Cardoso trying to make things happen, but it's impossible. Oh no, the danger man. The danger man. Hyung-Ming Son still, now Yudogi, Yudogi, Yudogi still turns, Yudogi shoots and it's a great save by Anana to keep us in the game. Cardozo can run here, Cardozo, Cardozo has the pace, he's really fast, the boy is really fast though, Cardozo, please, Cardozo, no, Cardozo still, oh my god, now Garnacho can run, please don't be outside if you are, that's just embarrassing, Garnacho, Shoot! Oh my god, this Spurs defense is too good. Cardozo! Shoots it! No, Cardozo still. To Bruno. Fernandez! No way. How are we not finishing these chances? Varando. Varane! No way. There's no way. 
and the ref blows the whistle. Oh, son. And he strikes it really well. Hyung Ming Son to break our hearts. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Bruno. Bruno. Pass inside. Still. Rasmus. Bruh. Rasmus. Oh my god, Rasmus. You need to finish a chance. Rasmus is a fraud. I can tell you something. And I think Postacoglu thinks the same way. Rasmus again loses the ball, but he gets it back. Balde. Balde runs. Robalde to Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes shoots and it's another save by Vicario. Eduardo Camavinga can just do that. Eduardo Camavinga. Posta Kuglu is happy how the team is playing, but we are not winning in Varane to get us back into the game. That's his second goal. No, no way. There's no way. There is no way. How do we concede always? Martinez, come on. We need to get back into this game because if we don't, our record is 1-1 one and, one, and what a pass for Bruno Fernandes but he loses it. Oh my days, we can't concede, we can't concede. I need to bring on some subs. Rasmus Hoyland, get off the pitch. Cardozo. The young talent. Rasmus! Oh my god, this Rasmus Hoyland. And that's a loss. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. How we shambled the lead. Wait, I just got a phone call from Postacoglu. What could this mean? 